Hello everyone, this is Spot, and welcome back to Shadowrun Hong Kong. Oh yes, just to be clear, this is a story-driven um, campaign, so if you're just starting here, you should check the link in the play uh, in the description. It's it's the playlist, start at the beginning, there you go. Also, I like to read lore, so there you go. All right, we are going to meet with Kindly Ching um, to find out more about this mission or whatever we're doing. Dr. Shin Ying. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Th th this is the guy that she actually talked about, right? In her message. A rotund, balding dwarf in a cheap suit turns to face you. Light glints from the heavy gold chains that hang around his neck. When he speaks, the voice that greets your ears is high and nasal and has been contorted into a rough approxima approximation of a New York accent. Pleased to meet you. Ching was kind enough to arrange this little sit-down between us. He extends a stab, slab-like hand. Stab-like, that would be, that'd be dangerous. He extends a slab-like hand for you to shake. You can call me Dr. Shin Ying. Uh, he looks odd. Shake his hand, please to meet you. I'm Spot. Why are you named after a city? Shake his hand. It's always good to meet a paying client. Why are you named after a city? I'm a doctor, and I'm from Shin Ying. You slow or something? <sighs> Uh, you're a doctor? Absolutely. Doctor of Cosmetic Dentistry. Dentistry. Courtesy of Shogun Correspondence University. 2,000 Nunyun well spent. Let me tell you, the doctor in front of my name adds a little, what do you call it? Panache. Now, you gonna shake my hand or what? Shake his hand. Sorry, I didn't mean to leave you hanging. His grip is as soft as his palm is moist. Ew. It's like shaking hands with a boneless ham. I love the writing in this game. You share a long, uncomfortably flaccid handshake before he finally releases you. <laughs> That's wonderful. That's great. I'm uh, looking for a little outside help on a problem I've been having. Ordinarily, I'd handle it myself or have some of my friends see to it, but it's kind of delicate, you know? My guys would be noticed before they made any headway on my problem. So I figure... Hey, I hire contractors all the time. Might as well get some contractors of a different stripe. Tell me about your problem. Maybe we can help as long as you're paying them in. Lasting friendships are made through favors exchanged. I'm all ears. Tell me about your problem. We'll be professional. I run a little film studio. Southern Crown Films. We mostly do trid work, but we record some sims too. Maybe you've seen some of my stuff. Space Mongols from the moon. <laughs> The flavor of pomegranates, ultimate kill squad. No, but I like the sound of ultimate kill squad. How much killing do they do? Can't say I've had the pleasure. Ah, too bad. I'll send some over to Ching so you can take a look. Anyway, there's this other guy in the industry and we've been button heads since day one. Name's Neville Ma. He runs Yellow Spring Studios. No matter what I do, I can't shut him out of the biz. He always manages to get one over on me. Steal my stars. He's been running me into the ground with this show called Promises in Moonlight. The star is a girl named Panope... Panopoli... Panopoli Wong? Panopoli Wong? Panopoli... 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 No. Yeah, I was pronouncing that. Panopoli? Yeah. P Penelope. Penelope. I thought I had it wrong. I was like going, I know this word. Penelope Wong. New talent, but the viewers have been going nuts over her. She's the show's linchpin. Hang on. I'm getting there. So about six months ago, Neville was out in Gongzu, Gongzu for some hoity-toity party. He's on the road, probably drunk. A semi comes out of nowhere and pow! Wrecks his fancy new Eurocar West Wind. Bad luck for Neville, good luck for me. I figure, hey, that's the end of him for the year, and I start planning some new stuff he can't compete with from inside a hospital. You follow me so far? Yes, please keep going. Let me guess. He found a way to compete with you. Okay, we'll just keep going. Problem is, the bastard's back in the game already, and he's bringing out season two of Promises in Moonlight. I need that show off the air one way or another, and that, my friend, is where you come in. How long did it take him to recuperate? Already? That's strange. Tough break. Maybe the wreck wasn't that bad. How long did it take him? I tell you, kid, he shouldn't have been in that hospital for at least... He should have been in that hospital for at least three months. And in physical therapy, a lot longer. Only took him like a week to get out. Couldn't freaking believe it. That kind of medical care costs top dollar. 
He got a lot of money, but not that much. Recovery time like that means that one of two things is going on. Neville couldn't have found himself a could have found himself a silent partner, someone willing to pay top dollar for cutting edge care. I don't think it's likely, but it could have happened. If it ain't that, the smart money says that he's been skimming off the top of Yellow Springs earnings and not reporting it to the sh other shareholders. Tell me about how I fit into this, and you want me to look into that, I take it. Just tell me. I need you to go get me something to blackmail Neville with. Find out how he could afford to get out of the hospital so fast. He works out of his penthouse most days, so search his computer, closet, sock drawer, whatever. There's got to be something incriminating in there. Where is this penthouse? Neville lives in the Repulse Bay. It's this real swanky joint on the south end of Hong Kong Island by the bay with the same name. I haven't been able to get anybody in to poke around his apartment because the security's too tight. Lucky for you, though, Neville's throwing a party on the mezzanine level with all the shops and a restaurant and balcony and such. He's celebrating the second season launch of his show, and everybody's going to be there. Going to make a real snarl for the building security. You might also want to hit up the party if you can bluff your way in. Everyone close to Neville will be there, and most of them will be three sheets to the wind by the time you get there. Some discreet questioning might get me the dirt that I need. Just remember, if you go to the party, don't use your real name. Go with Argyle. Should be safe enough. There's nobody in the biz out there with that name, so nobody will ask any questions about how your work's going. All right. Um... I've got to say, Dr. Xin Yang, the job sounds pretty underhanded to me. Hit the apartment, hit the party, dig up blackmail information on Neville Ma. Sounds easy enough. Could you just make a better show? Uh, I think we're going to hand this, handle this professionally. And part of, I think, our deal with Kindly Xing is that we do jobs for her. So we're going to do this. And we don't really care about the film stuff. He nods vigorously. Oh, yeah. Chang talked you up when I approached her with the job. Given what she told me, this job should be cake. Now, the blackmail material is what I need more than anything, but if you can get Penelope Wong out of her contract, I'll pay you extra. Got it? I want that star power on my side. One last thing. I don't want you starting a scene while you're there. You interrupt his party, make a mess, or trash his apartment, and I'm not paying you. We clear on that? Interesting. Why the concern if you're going to hamstring me before I even go on the run? I want to know why. Because it's gosh, gosh. Am I pronouncing that correctly? And I can't have Ma knowing I'm after him. In my business, everybody's got dirty tricks, but if you make it public, you're using them. Um, Dr. Shane draws a finger across his throat. That's it. My career is as dead as the People's Republic of China. Nobody will work for me. For or with me ever again, so don't embarrass me. Hey? Understood. I'll be discreet. No mess, no guns. Got it. Got it. Reputation is important. I'll make sure that yours remains intact. Glad to hear it. Listen, you do this for me, I'll make sure you're not only paid well, but I'll also tell all my friends that you come highly recommended. You don't seem like you deal with Shadowrunners much. Shadowrunners. Moonlight Prancers. Who gives a crap? I got money and a job, and I don't care who does it as long as the price is right. What's more, I got a lot of friends around town, and a lot of them run in your circles, too. He looks up at you, eagerness in his eyes. So what, we got a deal? You gonna do it? We have a deal. His grin widens. Good man. That's what I like to hear. When you're done, drop Ching a line. I'll come meet you back here, and I'll hand over the money. We definitely need more charisma. I think we're gonna need more charisma for this. Definitely. So we uh, go to the Repulse Bay Hotel to help Dr. Ching Blackman. Right, right. Meet Connie Ching. Okay. So this is another mission we've got going here. Yeah. I don't know if we can actually have multiple missions going at the same time. I'm going to assume not at the moment. Is there anyone else we can talk to in here? All right. Da, 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 da. I also wanted to see really quick if there is any option. Um, Tech speed slow input. Hmm. I was hoping that there was a way to actually make the text bigger. Um, it's it's not a huge problem, but but I do notice that sometimes because of the the uh, typeface they're using, that I, I just stumble over some words because I'm I'm trying to read ahead and that I don't know if it's the color or anything. And so, hoping I can change the size, but that's not the case. All right, so we are gonna go. We actually need to leave. Okay, so that's the thing. We were gonna do um, what's his name here, right? Yeah. Okay, so this guy, um, Rector. That's right.
Um, he, predator, increased accuracy. Mangler, increased attribute move speed. So, rotary saw gains a mounted saw blade arm. Okay, so that's melee. Uh, repair. The cooldown on Rector's toolkit repair ability is reduced. Okay. Uh, melee systems, right? Uh, gains clawed feet. And rip and tear is a new ability in a melee system. Okay, so th this is if we're going melee, and this is if we're going ranged. On the drone, more or less. Because I don't think he fights. I think he can, but. Rector's drone gains five percent accuracy. Um. Clock. Firearm systems. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe. Do we need. We already have. Like, if we want melee, we've got. Gashu. Gachu. Whatever his name is here. I mean, he's he's got a freaking sword. So I think we're going to go for Predator on this one. So. Confirm that. Yes. There we go. And no one else is up yet? No. Okay, cool. So. Let's exit that. We're going to go up here. Um, what's our cash like? We have 1100. I'm actually interested in getting some maximum law. No, we've talked to him before. Let's go over here. Techno Palace. Yeah, not there. I want to go over here. And talk to this guy. It's this guy, you know? Da, 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 da. Okay, so. We're going to talk to Tin Armed Ambrosi. What's up, buddy? I forget how much uh, so some of this stuff costs. Uh, how'd you land it? Okay, um, uh, show me your services. There we go. Cyberware, actually. Do do do. Okay, so this is a thousand. Right now we've got this guy right here. Okay, so type arm. Uh, this gives passive plus one dodge. Okay. That's arm. We actually have another arm we could use. No, 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 here. I, I want to see this. Cyberware Affinity 1, which we have, right? Yeah. Um. This is also ARM. Uh, a simple skill wire system designed to give the user more control over aiming thrown weapons. Not that interested. Uh, is this a skill wires? Yeah. We, we could get another passive to dodge. Silver Tech Cyber Arm. Silver Technologies basic replacement limb mimics the forms function of a biological right, right, right. Uh, passive plus six HP. I think I'd prefer to have the. I think I'd prefer to have the the dodge. However, there's there's some other implants we can get here. Oh yeah, this is actually a data jack which we don't have yet. Eyes, ah, what we got here. This is pass plus three percent to hit. Now the one thing is, the cyber leg, right? We can get plus HP six and plus one to quickness, but we don't have the, not enough money for it at the moment. So that's actually really interesting. And we can't, there aren't any brain installs. There is a head and stuff, but I, I don't, uh, the body's interesting. This gives plus one to body. And I guess this is just this, I don't know what this does. Does this up, up your HP or what? There's also this armor one, which you can't afford. So if we put this in here, but, but that would cost an essence. I'm gonna reset that. We're gonna exit for now, and I'm going to actually, um, yep, thank you. Uh, we're going to probably do that after this mission. There we go. Although, I'm a little bit, did you have any karma? Where's that here? Uh, where, oh no, it's here. No, I have zero karma. Charisma is four. Not enough, as, as I would like. So I think, okay, we're, we're definitely gonna need a Decker. Um, we're gonna go here. Um, I'm trying to figure out who we should take. Uh, travel to dig up information on Neville, May, Ma, whatever. Okay, so I think we definitely need to take the Decker. Um, does he actually have claws? Oh, infected claws. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so here's what I don't understand about this. If you're going to call them infected claws, shouldn't they have some type of um, uh, 
DOT on them of some kind. That's cool armor. Um. Oh, no, I don't necessarily want you. I just wanted to see your stuff. That's fine, armor. Um. You could use it. This guy has, uh. Well, actually, what is this? This is a tuning kit. Okay, remotely adjust. Okay, I see. And then he's got the drone. Secure coat. Are these, yeah, drone repairs? Charisma S2. I'm actually a little bit concerned about the Charisma thing. Um, Charisma S4, so she actually has the same as me. Does Gobet have better Charisma? Yes, she does. And I was actually thinking about bringing her anyway. Um, this is a uh, nature elemental fetish, yeah. Someone's a force to nature elemental. Um, da, 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 da. Increases friendly targets AP. Area effects spell that damages anyone that passes through it. What does a uh, dwarf have here? Okay, just a data jack, nothing more. Wow, this guy's got like hardcore stuff. Oh no no. Actually he doesn't have anything. Oh no no, he does have leg implants. But none of this are actually and he has an affected skull. Okay. So do we want Ractor? I'm almost pretty sure that we definitely want I don't think we want um Duncan at all. Yeah, he's got low charisma. Um, I don't think he's going to be useful in most anything. Now, throwing weapons is a thing. But I'm still thinking we'll go with the Decker. F I mean, the uh, the Rigger first. And then I'm thinking we'll go with Gobet here. Physical ma Magician. Mercenary Mage. Drone Rigger. Mercenary Shaman. Street Samurai. Yeah, let's... Um, I think we're going to go with Gobet. Because she's got... Um, high charisma so hopefully that works okay so um we have a uh, us we have a, a, a decker a rigger and a shaman hopefully this works out well we'll see <laughs> confirm you arrive at the upon musli upon musli hmm i have to look that up Learn something new every day. You arrive at the eponymously named Repulse Bay, a gleaming hotel and apartment building on the shores of Repulse Bay, Hong Kong Island. Rolling storm clouds choke the sky, lending the structure a sinister appearance. As you push through the doors and into the building, a sudden break in the clouds reveals a sun that's gone red as blood. You make your way into a ground floor elevator. The attendant pays you no mind. As the car begins to climb, you hear the sounds of merriment drawing closer. As the doors slide open, you find Neville Ma's party in full swing. So we're just doing the normal thing. This is spot... Um, actually, is this a frag grenade? I will take this, although I really hope we don't need it. Oh, pretty much all the same. I wish you had a... Uh, we, sh we should have stocked her up on some uh, meds. Okay, so I'm gonna keep mine too, my two, and hope that she's she, she'll have a heal available. We'll see. All right. Um, so we're going actually equipment and stash. Oh yeah, this is our stash. We need to just buy a crap ton of uh, med stuff and throw it in here just for future stuff. All right, so we're gonna confirm here. The elevator disgorges you onto the mezzanine with little fanfare. Off in the distance, you can hear the sounds of clinking glasses, carefree laughter, and silverware on China. Parties, breaking and entering. Blackmail. Sounds like a good time to me. Wonder if Neville has an open bar. The rat on her shoulder chirps. What's first, Spot? I say we go to the party. Okay, uh, let's get to the party and see if we can dig anything up. The party's too high visibility for my liking. Let's try the apartment first. We'll play it by ear. I don't know this scene any better than you do. We'll go to the party. If you think you can get us in, lead the way. She rubs her hands together excitedly. The catering at these things is always top notch. We're talking caviar spot. Booze with gold flecks in it. I think that I might smell pheasant. She shakes her head at Gobet. How can you be hungry? I just watched you power down a dozen dumplings and a pitcher of oxtail soup. Oh, that sounds good. 
Oh, I'm not hungry. Don't think I could eat another bite, but I do have a messenger bag and about 20 empty pockets. Uh, she pats the bag at her side. Come on, Spot. Let's go mingle. All right. So we're going to try to do this. This should be interesting. So we need to go up here. Who's this? Is this a bodyguard? He's a guest. Elevator. All right. Is this the apartment? Hotel guest. A sullen looking troll stands at the periphery of the kitchen. He turns to you, shoulders slumped forward and sighs. No restaurant service tonight. The kitchen staff's too busy with the party to serve anyone. Wish I could get into that balcony. Onto that balcony. He sniffs the air wistfully. All that delicious food. See? The guy knows what's up. Looks fancy. Who's throwing this shindig? What's so special about this party? Are you kidding? There are tons of trid stars out there. Man, I'd love to get my picture taken with Derek Yuen or Wink Baklam. They're in Promises in Moonlight. You, you know the show, right? Of course. Can't wait for the new season. I'm afraid not. I don't have time. Uh, I'm afraid not. His eyes widen excitedly. You need to see it. It's the best show on Tridio. Ever. He leans in, face inches from yours. Ever. I'll uh, get right on that. Good luck with the kitchen, buddy. All right. What is this? Is, is it just says door. It doesn't tell us what it is. So is this like the hotel entrance? Let's see here. Inspect. Today's special Buddha's Delight. All right. Who can we talk to? Let's talk to the waiter. The ragged waiter manages to straighten up as you approach. Good evening, sir. Welcome to the veranda at the Repulse Bay. How may I be of service? Oh, he even looks tired. What's up the guard of by the balcony? I've got some questions about noon. No, you look exhausted. Why don't you take a break? Not yet. I can't afford to miss any tips. He sighs. I went to Mangkul last week and it wiped me out. Bad luck with the horses, you know. Maybe I can help you out. A favor for a favor. Ooh. Uh, I wanted to help you out for some information. We'll do this one. The waiter stares at you suspicious, but his desperation gets the better of him. I'm listening. I need access to a penthouse apartment. Name your price. I've got Noonien to spare. All right. Whose apartment? Neville Maws. 500 Noonien and the code is yours. He blurts it out without a second thought. We have charisma though. Ha ha ha. 250 or I'm walking. Better something than nothing, right? The code is 1635. He whips out his PDA and glances at the bank balance. A satisfied grin lights up his face. Oh, and if you get caught, I didn't tell you anything. Of course not. I've never spoken to you in my life. His smile widens. Have fun with Ma's things. If some were to go missing, maybe wind up at a pawn shop. I doubt they'd be missed. All right. So we actually have the code now. Who's this? The security guard. Let's talk to the security guard. See what he has to say. Security guard stands in front of the patio, a bored expression on his face. He looks you up and down as you approach. Private party, pal. Invitation only. So we have charisma. Are you kidding me? I was just in there talking to Kevin Yu. Don't tell me you've already forgotten my face. I'm sure there are at least half a dozen people in there without invitations. Blah, blah, blah. I guess we can just do charisma for. Security guard pauses. He leans forward and scans your face, his expression uncertain. After a moment, he steps back. Yeah, yeah, I remember you. Talking to Kevin Chu. Terribly sorry, sir. Won't happen again. So we can actually go out there. And we got the karma. That was worth it. Who's this? Producer. Penelope Wong. Neville Ma. Who's not making much use of his party, is he? Producer. The party goer raises an eyebrow at your approach. They're serving century-old Cabernet like punch here. It's hard to believe considering how much a single bottle costs. But it's even harder to believe Mr. Ma's hosting this party and so soon after his accident. Ah, yes. Heard about that. Doesn't seem to have slowed him down. Yeah, wine, whatever. Uh, slowed him down. The man's a machine, he smirks, amused by himself. Not literally, but he might as well be the way he sprang back after being T-boned at 140 clicks an hour. Wow. Jesus, how's he even standing? It's quite a feat. How'd he survive? Seriously, man should look like cat food after an impact like that. Jesus, how's he even standing? I don't know how, but here he is, alive and kicking, or dining, regaling, what have you. If you ask me, it's all that positive qui the fans have stirred up. I heard there were entire message boards praying for him and making offerings at temples. 
The Matrix is nuts for promises in Moonlight. If Ma hadn't negotiated a second season, his fans would just have easily have turned on him. Interesting. If that's all it takes to win immortality, maybe I should become famous too. No way the internet can't send you. Okay. Isn't that why we're all here? To be famous, become famous, or make someone else famous? He catches slight of someone across the room and waves. Lisa, over here, gives you a curt nod. Nice talking to you. All right. So we didn't get any real information out of that. Anyone over here? We've only got him. Okay. Penelope Wong. I keep wanting to say Cruz. The glamorous starlet. Wow. Hello. Uh, the glamorous starlet flashes you a standard celebrity smile, lovely but emotionless. Good evening, Penelope Wong, but please call me Penny. Pleased to meet you, Penny. Name's Argyle. I guess so. Parties aren't really my thing. Fantastic party, Penny. Please extend my thanks to Mr. Ma or Mr. Agar Argyle. Uh, name's Argyle. She lifts her drink and takes a tentative sip. What brings you to our little soiree, Mr. Argyle? I don't believe I've seen you around the studio before. It's a friend of a friend sort of situation. He asked me to check in on Neville. Seems he's recovered quickly considering the accident. Just business. I'm surprised Mr. Maul's up and about so soon after his accident. I'm representing some interested parties who'd like to collaborate with Yellow Spring Studios. They wanted me to make sure Neville's injuries were as minor as they'd heard. We might go with this one. Your friends have nothing to worry about. I must admit, I nearly died of fright when I heard that ha what happened. But to look at Neville now, you'd never guess he'd been hurt. She smiles demurely. It's miraculous, isn't it? Hmm. His medical bills must have been steep. I saw pictures of the accident. It was a mess, Neville included. Neville included. Miracles cost a lot of noon in these days. Must have been some expensive treatments. I'll keep a secret if you will. It's a shame the rumor mills caught wind, though. There are rumors? She blinks. I haven't heard any rumors. Word on the Matrix is that he's been skimming off the top of the pay for his treatment. Just jealous babbling. You know the kind. That he's embezzling from the studio to pay for the treatment, etc. You wouldn't believe the things people are saying. Embezzlement, secret partners, and other such ch ch chicanery. I'm sure it's all nonsense. Her face reddens. That's ridiculous. The studio's doing better than ever. We're even expanding. No money lost there. Yeah, I suppose that Neville's gotten some new investors then. I wouldn't put any stock in Matrix rumors, especially the ones about new investment partners. Then he's got someone supporting him, like a new partner. That would make sense given this situation. New partners. Someone new? For a moment, she's lost in thought, face twisted in concentration. No, I don't think so. But Neville did make some new friends while he was in Gangzhou. Oh? There was a woman, can't remember her name who now visits Neville regularly. I hear she's quite the fashionista? Fan fashionista. They sound close. Well, a powerful man like him must make a lot of friends. Penelope shrugs. They seem to get on well. I'm a little sad he's never introduced us though. She's supposed to make an appearance tonight. I'm very much looking forward to meeting her. Interesting. Penelope's gaze drifts over your shoulder for a moment and she smiles at someone behind you. Oh, please excuse me. That's Mr. Yeo and I promised him I'd say hello tonight. Enjoy the party. Thank you, Penny. It was a pleasure. Okay. So do we talk to him or do we come back? I think talking to him might be a problem. Should, or should we go sack his apartment? Not sack it, just toss it. Toss his apartment. Neville Maul is dressed in an immaculate suit, surveying his party from the edge of the balcony. As you approach, he inclines his head respectively. Good evening, Mr. I'm sorry, I don't believe we've been formally introduced. He straightens his wristwatch. I'm Neville Ma, owner of Yellow Spring Studios. Mr. Argent, quite an affair you've got here. I'm Mr. Argent. This one decadent party must have been awfully expensive. The pleasure's all mine, Mr. Ma. Call me Mr. Argent. Thanks so much for hosting this gala. You're very welcome. It's important to show the industry and the press that Promises in, mid in Moonlight is doing well and that we're still a local operation. I hope that you're enjoying yourself. I've heard about your accident. How did it happen? Thanks for talking. Uh, how did it happen? He sighs. It seems as though that's all anyone wants to hear about these days. To be honest, I'm getting rather tired of repeating the story. Suffice it to say, a delivery truck, a drone experienced a glitch and ran a red light if it hadn't hit me it would have hit someone else hmm did the police discover anything unusual sounds like someone's got it in for you you think it was intentional what the glitch i can't rule it out but that seems rather far-fetched to me i'm just a, a 
Tridio producer. Hardly the sort of man to find himself or anybody's enemies list. Biotech 4, you don't appear to have any scars from the crash. Hey. You were discharged from the hospital pretty quickly. Your treatment's been, um, I heard you made a new friend while you were in the hospital. Hmm. Uh, we might come back to him. My pleasure. Please enjoy the party. I don't want to tip him off too bad. No one else here to talk to, right? So we're going to go out. Actually, is there anyone in the kitchen worth talking to? No. Nope. Doesn't seem like it. So what is this? Um, do we need to get in here? Matrix data line. Um, let's, let's see if we can go up to the, uh, you know what? No, 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 no. Hold on. Actually, let's go in here. Uh, there might be cameras and stuff in the apartment. I would assume there would be. So let's, uh, boot, have Isabella jack in. Okay. So she's taking stash ESPs. Okay. Yeah. So she's taking all the stuff. So just to be clear here again, shield expert system program. Okay. Uh, this create increases chance to hit, right? Heals, reduces system trace by 50. Area of effect matrix attack that deals 75 IP. Okay, and then her deck. So we're gonna confirm. Here we go. Welcome to the matrix. The matrix, blah, 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 blah. You run down on some of the features you'll encounter navigating through cybers. Wait, didn't we go through this before already? Including system trace matrix. Show me the help. Actually, I am very interested about the system trace. I've never been really clear on it. Intrusion countermeasures, these are all I see. Dump shock, dying in the matrix. The virtual world is real enough to leave lasting scars. If you jack out during combat, you'll suffer dump shock, losing 25% of HP and uh, minus five AP. If, def if defeated in the matrix, instead of dying outright, you will be forcibly jacked out and lose 50% HP, no wound and minus five AP. So actually, if you think you're about to die, it's better to jack out. Interesting. Uh, end matrix combat quickly. Each turn you remain in combat. Okay, so it's while you're in combat. In view of IC, oh, in view of IC, system trace will increase red alerts, will spawn black IC and increase your trouble dramatically. Black IC is really bad news. The system trace bar in the lower left shows the current state. See the next page for hacking details. Okay. Right. I mean, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This thing. I forgot. It's completely different here. Yeah, so when encountering blocker ice, you will be presented with several options for bypassing it. Successfully hacking your way past is the only way to get blah, blah. Um, keypad puzzle, press start and follow the match the sequences using your numpad or mouse and add more pips for more hack time. Note, you can press next as soon as you have even one pip to start step two. Uh, pressing start again will let you repeat this step. Okay, use the symbol clues here to look for a matching solution out of the 10 choices below. Right, okay. Click the matching solution here based on the clues above. The correct answer will let you hack past the blocker. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Wanna make sure that we had that. Um, we're at 900 here. Do, 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 do. Exit stage left, yes. Okay, so we're gonna go in here and see if we can find anything that has to do with um, uh, like, like surveillance. Holy crap, that's not what we wanted to happen at all. Whoa, holy crap, holy crap, come on, come on, come on. Come. Nope. Um, I don't know what we want to do here. This, this trace is, whoa, what in the world? Oh, here we go. Um, sniffer. Killer, powerful attack program. Yeah, we'll do this. They didn't die? Seriously? Wow. Okay, well, the trace is here. I don't think it comes back up. We'll have to wait. Hotel data core here. Wow, what the frick? Holy crap, that's some bad news stuff right there. Uh, we have some issues here. Um, this is, oh, this is white ice, which is pretty bad. Um, is this the AOE? Okay, and this actually can, can I throw it here? Yeah, and I can throw it here. Put here. Will that hit me? I don't think so. Cannot move. Okay. Then we have this. Is this our killer? Who? 
Ooh, that actually worked pretty damn well. Wait, is there another one there? I'm missing. Oh, there is. Okay, and we turn. Okay, he's gone. Okay. All right. So their little, obviously hiding behind these things doesn't actually help it seems because they were able to see me. And we're at a system trace of 30 of 30. Blocker IC rating one, okay. Whoa, hello. Wow, I did not know that they actually fire things. That's intriguing. Um, can we just, can we kill it? Uh, okay, so actually, can we go, can we go here? Ow, missed. So is that down? Oh, cool. So we can just get into the data core now. Wonderful. Welcome to the Repulse Bay Central Data Hub. Please state query. Search for information on Neville Ma. Search other records. Let's do other records for a second. Select subject. Events. One event found. Yellow Springs Films Private Party Mezzanine Level Front Desk indicates six unclaimed invitations. Download invitation. Sure. Not like we need that, but that's fine. Um, search other records. Planned hotel expansion. Accessing expansion plans. You download a series of files detailing expansion plans at the hotel's ground floor. These might be valuable to local construction firms. Oh, so we can sell those. Great. Um, maintenance logs. Accessing maintenance logs. Reams of data flood the screen. Everything's organized by way of reference numbers. It's an incredible, obtuse, and confusing system. Without knowing what number to search for, there's a little value to see here. Okay, go back. Uh, other records. Was there anything in here? No, just events. Go back. Search for information on Neville Ma. Ma, Neville, resident, penthouse apartment number two, expand query. Okay, so that's it. That was it? Like that, that was, I guess it was worth getting the other, the other, uh, I guess the other stuff, the other data that we can sell. All right, we're good. Woohoo. All right, so let's go up here. Elevator. He's elevator to the penthouse floor. Here we go. All right, so, so I'm going to put a cut here. Uh, and when we come back, we are going to uh, try to get into his apartment or see what else we can find up here. And uh, yeah, so cool. Thanks for hanging out and uh, we'll continue next time. Bye-bye. Hey there, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. If you'd like to see more, just click subscribe. Come say hi to me on Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, any of those. I hope to see you next time.